Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. It is still very early morning for me, and I've been busy for quite a while. But I wanted to show you how you can really big go big with masks when you work with images in Brazil. That's for both cloud and WordPress, free and pro. Now, I've taken these images and pre-made blocks, and I've really spiced them up. And as I was playing with it, I just thought, let's make a tutorial on it so you can have an idea how to play around with this and go beyond your boundaries. Nice little shape here. These are all custom shapes and you may have already played with the mask feature and the image element, but I want to show you how to go outside that and do the custom stuff and where you can get unlimited inspiration. Look here, I took the South African flag, which is I'm from South Africa, and I turned it into this image mask. I don't think it's perfect for this one, but I can see a lot of application for travel sites, travel blogs, um, look at this one, very artistic, takes this ballerina to a new level, really complements also the shape and direction she is looking at. And then just spice this one up with a little bit of um, shape, making it a little bit different. All of these four blocks are actually pre-made blocks from the kit one in the block library. And I'm going to show you now how we're going to do this and where you can get these shapes and how you can work with SVG, PNG and also upscale them. I made this in Brizzy Cloud, but to show love for all the different various platforms we have, I'll go into Brizzy WordPress to replicate or at least try and get as close to that as possible. Let's begin by start building our page. And from the blocks, I'm going to stick to Kit 1 because that's where I found those. And let's just go into the cover section. I found one here. What you're looking for is a very prominent image. Let's go to Features something on the left or right, like this one that I had found earlier. So let's start with this one. Click on the image and you will find the mask section here from the image options all the way to the right. And if you select the drop down, you will see there is quite a number of masks in here. And they are pretty good masks. I would say these are standard masks. You can filter through them and you will see that this is very typical masks that you're going to get on sites like this little brush. One thing you have to remember is the setting. This is a fill which is going to take the mask and stretch it all the way to the container, which is usually your column. It will stretch top, right, bottom and left to fit in. So there will be no padding, if you want to call it padding, around it. Let me explain to you what I mean. Let's take this diamond and the top part and the bottom part is cut off because if I put it on fit, it's going to look the way you envisioned it. But with the fill option, this white space here on the left and the right, it stretches it. Where, where am I now? Fill. It stretches it to fill the container. That does work in many cases. And I've a few times put it on fill instead of fit. But if the shape needs to look perfect, you need to put it on fit. And then from here, you can go ahead and play through these shapes. Really nice. It just adds that little bit of design element. Again, I always will say this with things like this. Don't go overboard. Really think about when you use it and then go to custom. Let's go to shame, scroll all the way to the bottom and select custom. Next to the image, you will see there is a little help tag that says upload only PNG or SVG. So let's walk through this and I'll give you some good pro tips here that you have to keep in mind. Open a new tab and what I do is I look for the nounproject.com. Came across them many years ago and I sign up. I think they've got a really good deal. They've got free stuff that you can use, but then also premium service. Now you'll see there's over 5 million icons. I really like using their icons. I try to stay away from the set icons that you usually get within the templates. I come here and look for something just a little bit different. Let's go and search for something and I'm going to type in shape as simple as that. And let's start there and see what they give us. And you're going to see immediately some of those shapes that we actually like this one here to start with is actually already with in the Brizzy mask included. So no need to go and download that. But as we scroll down, you're going to see, whoa, there's a lot to choose from here. So let's start with the first pro tip. And that is you need to look for a shape that is filled. That means black. This is how it will display on the noun project. If you look at this one that has an outline, you don't want to choose this. And I'm going to show you why you don't want to choose that. So let's look at two, these two that are very, very similar. 
I will control click on this one to open it in a new tab. And you have the option to download as a SVG or a PNG. Let's start with PNG. And I think it's at 512 pixels, which is fine. And we go back into Brizzy. And then here where it says your mask, let's click on that. And let me just grab it and drag it into my media library. And it goes selected. And in no time, it's going to turn it into a mask. That's really powerful and beautiful. I really like it. So PNG works really well. And what you can see here is that even though it is set to fit, it doesn't stretch all the way to the top and to the left. And that is because within this PNG, there is probably some spacing between the border and the image. What you can do in this case is you can go to the size, you put it on fill, you'll see it still doesn't stretch, and then you put it on custom. And then from custom, you grab this slider and you can drag it up. Let's put it on pixels, drag it up, 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 up. And we can go beyond that. Let's look at something like 750, see what happens. Yes, you can make it fit to the way you want it to fit. I'm going to put it back on fit so we can just have an idea of exactly what happens and that we can go back into noun project and then click on this one that is just an outline. If you work a lot with images or with these kind of vector images, you understand why you're not going to use it because the mask is only applied to the black areas, which means if I download this PNG and we hop back into Brizzy, let's go to the mask, delete this one, upload the new one, click hold and drag, and then say select. We're going to get this and that's pretty useless for what we have in mind here. There could be cases that you would like to use it, but of course you can understand immediately why this is not going to work. So pro tip number one is to look for the filled black images as large as possible. Try and avoid the small ones. Let's then choose one that is really out of the box here, one that will look pretty good on this side. And I'll scroll down, I'll select this one. Nice. Previously, we downloaded the PNG. Let's go for SVG this time so that you can see that also works very nice. Let's go to Mask Color, delete this one, upload, and then we grab the SVG and we drop it. Sorry, you are not allowed to upload this file type. If you're working in Brizzy Cloud, this will not be an issue. But if you're working in WordPress, you will need to go and activate this within the settings of the Brizzy panel so that you can work with SVG. So it's important that you understand this one. Let's close out, save our work. I'll just close the download bar and then we exit back to the dashboard, go into our WordPress. And then where you see Brizzy, simply click on it. It will open the settings and then enable SVG uploads. There's security reasons why WordPress and many sites don't like SVG. But if it comes from a reputable source and you feel good with it, go ahead, activate it, save changes. Let's go back to our pages, masks galore, edit with Brizzy. And now things should work better. Let's select it. Let's go to our mask, click on image. And this time let's bring in the SVG. No problem. It says we love it. Select it. And there we go. And I think the SVG being a vector should work perfectly, give you sharp edges. Whereas if you work with a 512 by 512 pixel PNG, it may become blurry on the outline. So I really think the SVG works really nice. Look how we just upgraded this in no time. Yeah, it looks so professional. Let's do another one. Let me get the hang of this. I will go to features. Let's look for another one that is very similar in style where we have an image on the right or the left. Let's choose this one that I used previously. And let me just go and put my styling on the kit one, which is default. So I can just have that look. Let's go back. Let's search again for shape and let's choose this one. From here, note that often when you choose an icon below it, it will give you more from this collection. And there's a lot of inspiration from that. If you click on it, look at this little file that we have here. We have a tape recorder, clock, 
a few nice ones, ones that you may not have considered and may not have searched for. And that opens up a lot for you in terms of what you can do. Let's choose this one. Gives us almost a collage effect, collage effect. And I'll download the SVG, no problem. Select it. Let's go back to masks. Go to custom. Upload and we drag in this one. Now I have to remember which is which. Already. Now I. Mm, there we go. Pretty nice. I don't like the fact that she's cut off like that. So I'll grab the selector. Oh, this is now a difficult one. Which part do I want in focus? Let's put it like this. Let's do one more. Here I want to show you what happens if you work with a shape that is too small and you need to fill it out a little bit. So I will go back here. And what I did is I searched for South Africa. And I was thinking of a South African map. And here we have this one, but the Sutu is blanked out, which I don't think is going to look good for the image. So I'll choose this one, include the Sutu as an additional province for this one. Click on download SVG. And then we go to masks and select it. Go to mask. Again, scroll down to custom and we upload that one. Uh, there it says South Africa. This one has a better one. And click on select. Let's put it on fit. And now I feel that I need to make it a little bit bigger. You see, we've got the space again at the top and the bottom. And I would really like it to fill out the image more. To do that, you go back to the mask, click on custom. And this is where I showed you earlier how you can increase this now and drag it to the size you want. Let's just grab the ballerina. Pretty ballerina. Zoom in. Okay, and this is definitely not the right mask for her. We had some really special mask for her. Let's go look for a, one more shape. Search for butterfly. Oh, let's see this one. I'm very curious. Download the SVG. Manon butterfly. Let's go into our mask. Delete. Upload. We bring in now butterfly. Select. Oh, that works, right? Just look how that works. And of course, play around a little bit again with the selector. Something totally different. And what I'll do with this image is reduce it. And then let's put it to the right. Then I'll go back. To the mask and increase it. Let's put it on pixels again so I can go beyond what I'm looking for here. 500 to 700. And then this one, remove that. Great. Something completely different using the mask feature together with Noun Project. You can come up with so many variants and ideas. Just spice up your website design a little bit in no time. And the Noun Project is one. Many other sites have these kind of icon shapes that you can use. SVG, great way to go to make sure you keep those sharp edges. PNG also works great. And where this can be really nice, if you have a brand logo that is a filled logo, then this is also a great way to do that and bring it in and add a little bit of extra corporate identity to the images in the site. Don't overdo it. I cannot underscore that more enough. Hope this was something interesting and helpful. I'll see you around from me, JP. Until next time.